Hare Krishna. So we are discussing the 10 offenses to the holy name and we have successfully discussed the first six. And now let's hear the seventh offense and its rectification. The seventh offense is Namno Balad Yasya Hi Papa Buddhihi. That is, to commit sinful activities on the strength of the holy names of the Lord. Now, when it comes to sin, we need to understand that there are three stages of sin. The first one is avidya or ignorance. The second one is desire to sin. And the third one is sinful act. And it is very clear that when we render sincere devotional service with good intensity, ignorance and the sinful desire both are destroyed. And it might happen that traces of sins are there. And those traces of sin or the sinful impressions will give a lot of sinful thoughts. But a sincere devotee will tolerate and he will not get those sinful thoughts into action or commit any sinful action. Such a devotee who continues practicing bhakti sincerely, intensely, tolerating all those sinful vasanas, what happens? Even those traces of sins which are there, those will be removed. Another case, a devotee is pulled by his sinful desires, his vasanas, to commit some sinful activity unintentionally. What happens to such a devotee? If he continues chanting the holy names intensely, taking shelter of the holy name, holy name will clear all the sins which are there because of his accidental fall down. But if there is a very, very extra intelligent, over smart person who is planning to commit sin, intentionally who is committing sin with a plan in the mind that yes, now I'll commit a sin and I'll chant the holy names and by chanting the holy names, I'll cleanse all the sinful reactions. This thought process is a very, very cheating thought process and the holy name will never be merciful to such a cheater. And this is a great offense that I'll, yes, I'll commit sin and I'll remove that sin or cleanse that sin using the holy name. This is a great offense. Now, knowingly, unknowingly, we might have done such a thing. So what is a rectification? Rectification is the first one. In the association of devotees, with a very, very repentful heart, we should surrender. We surrender to this process, surrender to the devotees. And also, one should have a very, very heavy heart. And one should think that I'm such a great offender to the holy name. I've used holy name to cleanse my sinful reactions. How, how sinful and how offensive I am. In fact, even if I suffer in the hell for many, many lifetimes, I will want to be released from this particular offense that I have committed. With this mode, with this attitude, a devotee should intensely beg and pray to the holy name. And also with this lamenting mode, with deep lamenting mode, the devotee should call out to one spiritual master, to Shula Prabhupada, that please save me, please save me, please help me. And this will be a very, very strong way to get rid of the sinful reactions and also not to commit it again. One should take a vow that please forgive me, I will not commit this again. Please forgive me. So in this way, a devotee should lament, should repent and should offer prayers and should not any time again commit the sinful activity. And finally, Unknowingly, if we have done and we don't know also we have done this offense, we should pray intensely to the Lord, to Harinam Prabhu, to the Holy Name, that, O oh Lord, please forgive me if I have committed this offense unknowingly. Please forgive me and please allow me to chant your Holy Names offenselessly with love and devotion. So with this mood, let's continue our chanting. Hare Krishna.